After the Goku Black Saga, Goku brought future Zeno to present Zeno so he could have a friend and not get bored anymore. Now we have two Omni Kings in one multiverse. And although this seemed like a good idea on the surface, what Goku and Grand Priest did not consider is that what if the Omni Kings disagreed on something and got into a fight? Some of you may say, well, the Zenos are basically the same person because of their childish nature and personality. Therefore, they would never get into a fight. This is a somewhat true and understandable counter argument because as we've seen in the past they both seem to agree on everything especially in the tournament of power as they were spectating the fight you would see the other one copying what the other is doing and if the other seemed to like a certain fighter both of them would like him but my argument against that is the fact that both Zenos come from different timelines means they could disagree on something sooner or later while they may be both biologically the same being that does not mean they are the same person because beings from different timelines are different to each other based on personal experiences in their respective timelines. Take Feature Trunks and Present Trunks for example. Both are the same being, but because of how different the flow of events happen in Feature Trunks' timeline compared to the present timeline, they both turned out to be completely different people. Another example is Feature Gohan and Present Gohan. Look at how different those two are. And when we apply the same logic to the Zenos, they may have had different experiences that shape their decision making skills and it starts to make sense as to why they may not agree on everything every single time going forward into the future whatever the grand Zenos say is what goes but when there are two of them demanding two different things at the same time the grand priest would be split between them because both of them have the same authority in the multiverse if the grand priest cannot help the two reach a middle ground that could be the annihilation of all of reality because not even the grand priest can stop Zeno or the Zenos in this case when they decide to wipe out everything out of existence grand priest is merely Zeno's assistance and can influence his decision to a certain point but he definitely does not have control over him and this is another reason I believe nations were ruled by one king the same applies in Zeno's case there should only be one Omni King 